Hi there, this is Dr. Laura Irvin Kassab. I'm an assistant professor at San Jose State University in San Jose, California. And this quick video is for students. Um, it is about how to actually navigate to the conference feature we will be using, at least in my course and possibly some of your other courses, um, as we transition from a face-to-face -to, -face to an online classroom environment. So what you see on the screen right now is your a, a sample home page for a class. Uh, for this class as a professor, I've actually made conferences our very first button that students will see. Um, you can also see discussion boards, et cetera, et cetera. So when you log in and the professor has started the conference feature, you will see this message here. It will tell you that you've been invited to whatever conference it is. It'll tell you the start time and how many participants have joined. Until your professor actually starts the conference, you won't see this message. And if you click on conferences, you may or may not actually see um, the conference options. Um, so we can click on join it now from here or let's let's click on conferences and see see it says access denied so if we go back and we click on join it now it's still giving me conferences ah okay because I'm logged in as a professor I can't see it as a student so I'm going to turn off the student view so I can show you what you're going to actually see when you click on join it now it will give you this option you can come in using your microphone which means you'll be able to speak during this conference or listen only. Um, for your choices, you will also be given these choices again in breaking out into discussion rooms. So this isn't a choice that you're going to make that's going to impact your entire conferencing experience. Um, you can come in again using microphone or listen only. If you click listen only, you can still chat. So you can still use the chat features and do some typing. Um, it might help uh, keep the uh, feedback down if you go in using listen only. If you do go in using your microphone, it'll pop up and say, are you going to allow your computer microphone to be used? I'll say yes. It's then going to connect to something called an echo test. And what this will do is it'll record it'll you record speaking. You and it'll say, the only person in this conference. <laughs> it'll ask you if you can hear it. So once you've done those things, you can come in. As soon as you come in, if you are going to use the microphone feature, please come down to the center button here in the, um, the app and mute. Now muted mute yourself. The reason why you want to mute yourself is if everyone logs in at the same time or if there are multiple people with their microphones on, you'll end up getting a really wicked feedback sound. You know that echoey and whiny sound. So that's how you log in here. Now that you're in, you can um, follow the instructions on the tutorial videos that they have at Big Blue Button. They just do a better job of explaining how to navigate through here than I can do. So this was a super quick podcast podcast on how to uh, access this from your Canvas page. Hope this is helpful. Thanks.